Hi everyone, so this will talk about map and weak maps. In the previous video, I already explained how to use maps, what are the available methods, how you can look through all the items. In this video, we will see how weak map works, what are the actual differences between map and weak maps. The first major difference is the number of available methods. In case of weak map, you have only has method, set method, get method, and delete method. The second difference is the key. In case of map, you can set a string as a key, number as a key, object as a key, you can even have functions as a key, symbols as a key. But in case of weak maps, the key should be an object. It cannot be a number, it cannot be a string, it cannot be any function or symbol, anything like that. The third major difference is the garbage collection. When you create an object as a key, the hold on the reference is pretty strong. In case of a weak maps, when you make use of object as a key, the hold on the reference is very very weak. It simply means at some point, if you will simply just get rid of that reference, whatever the object will be in the memory, that will be garbage collected by the garbage collector. We will see an example of it also. Let's get a weak map collection first. So it will go like this, let weak map, new weak map. As I told you before, we can make use of set method, get method, has and delete. And it will only have an object as a key. So if I try to make a key, for example, to some number, and this will be my object. Let's make it name Peter. Okay. Now let's try to get this. So weak map dot cat we need to supply the key in this case to just save it and we'll get this kind of output now let's create an empty object here it will be let x and use x here instead of two put x save it and you'll get this output so make sure whatever key you are creating that should be an object let's see an example of map and weak map to see garbage collection in action let's create an object it should be a1 so make it x1 just copy this paste it here make it 2 and make it y here make it 2 so now we have two objects which we can use as keys. Now let's create a collection. I'll make it C1 or do one thing just make it map to be very clear. Copy this, paste it here, make it weak map here also. Now let's make use of set method set the keys so in this case it will be a1 and the value will be a1 for this key copy and paste make it weak map make it a2 this one also and as you know we can make use of for loop so it will go like this for let key value of map Simply make use of console log to get the key and value. In case of weak map, we can make use of get. So console log weak map dot get. We need to supply the key. So in this case, we'll make it a2. Now save it. So as you can see, we are getting the key in a value. In this case, we are only getting the value. Now let's see what I actually mean with strong hold on the object reference and weak hold on the object reference. And what actually happens when you make these keys equal to null. So in this case, I want this a1 to be equal to null. This means we don't have any reference to this object. But because map has strong hold on the object reference, we'll get those values. 
but in case of weak map it has weak hold on the object reference so if i'll set it to null i'll get undefined you can see it here because this thing is not being garbage collected this object is still in memory but as soon as you set the object reference to null in case of a weak map that object will be disposed by the garbage collector that's why we are getting undefined here i hope i have tried my best to explain the difference if you still have any doubts feel free to comment i'll see you in the next video have a nice day